Shalom again Israel. Today we are going to look at the Feast of Dedication in Aramaic, better known as Hanukkah. Well, Hanukkah was prophesied um, from about the 5th century BCE. It was prophesied by the prophet Daniel when um, the man Gabriel or Malach or the angel Gabriel gave him a vision and um, let's we're going to look at some um, scriptures let's start at Daniel chapter 8 verse 2 it states and the male goat became very great but when he was strong the large horn was broken and in place of it four conspicuous ones came up towards the four winds of the Shemaim okay what happened was this um, after the death of Alexander of Macedonia who people call Alexander the Great. I call no man great because only Abaya is great. But, you know, for a lack of a better word, people call him Alexander the Great. He conquered the known world at 25 years old. And he died at, um, at, at an early age, you know. Um, I think 32 or 33, after he drank the Herculean cup twice, which was meant that all army could drink one cup and be drunk. One cup and be drunk. He drank it twice. And he went into a fever and died at the age of 33. Now when after his death his kingdom was divided into four by his four generals um, and amazingly um, this was prophesied in Daniel. This is the four um, conspicuous ones spoken up in Daniel 8 verse 8. Let's continue in verse 9. And from one of them, from one of the four conspicuous ones, came a little horn which became exceedingly great towards the south and towards the east and toward the splendid land. What happened um, in the south? Um, um, one of his general was um, Ptolemy. He ruled um, Egypt in the south, and then above him was um, um, the Seleucid um, dynasty, which was run by Antiochus. Okay, so this is what's going on right here, and it became great up to the host of the Shemaim, and it caused some of the hosts. And some of the stars to fall to the earth and trampled them down. It even exalted itself as high as the prince of the host, and it took that which is continual away from him and threw down the foundation of this set apart place. What did he do? According to history and the book of Maccabees, um, when Antiochus Epiphanes came into Jerusalem, what he did, he went and he made a proclamation, a decree that all sacrifice should cease. In all horror, he went into the temple and offered the abomination that lays desolation spoken of later on in Daniel 9.27, where he offered a swine on the altar, which caused war. Okay, let's continue. Verse um, 12. And because of transgression, an army was given over to the horn, which was Antiochus, to oppose that which is continual, and it threw the and it threw the truth down to the ground and it acted and and prospered all right so he was prosperous in his victory so far i mean he was triumphing he was destroying everything in his path so let's jump over here you could read the whole entire chapter eight when you have time but for time um let's jump over to um daniel um eight verse um 21 it says and the male goat is the sovereign of Greece. So the, the Malach Gabriel is telling him what the symbols mean. He's telling him that this male goat that he saw in the vision is actually Greece. And the large arm between his eyes is the first sovereign. Who was the first sovereign? Alexander of Macedonia. And that it was broken and four stood up in its place are for rulership arising out of the, that nation but not in its power isn't that amazing we just read that early history already confirmed this after the death of alexander his kingdom was divided by his four generals there were four leaders we just read it right here right these were his four generals and the most terrible of them all was antiochus epiphanes he called himself epiphanes that is their way in greek of saying zeus manifest okay but he was so evil that his people call him Epiphos, Antiochus Epiphanes, meaning um, <laughs> Antiochus the madman. And in the latter time of their rule, when the transgression have filled up their measure, a sovereign fierce 
affairs and skilled of intrigue shall stand up. Who was that sovereign? The second one, Antiochus Epiphanes. And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power, and he shall destroy incredibly, and shall prosper and thrive, and destroy mighty men, and the set apart people. Let's continue. So he, he was triumphing, um, but he made a mistake. This is what happened. He went to a place called Mohedim in the south, and he had what is known as a um, mobile cart, where they'll have um, statues on the back of this cart and a little altar. And he'll go into this. He'll send his, his soldiers into the cities, and they'll um, command people to sac sacrifice to these idols. Now what happened, he made a horrible mistake. He went to a city known as Mohedim, Modim in Yehuda in the south. And there lived a man by the name of Matitiya and five rugged sons who were later called the Asmonean dynasty known as the Maccabee, led by one Yehuda Hamakbil known as the Hamara. Now um, what he did, he, have, he had a lot of the pagans. This was Antiochus soldiers. They, and they had a lot of the pagans um, you know, somehow convinced the Israelites and the priests to um, somehow um, join in to their abominable and abomination. Things were so bad in, in the, at that time that no woman or no men, no children could be sacrificed, um, circumcised by the priest. And the Shabbat was forbidden. Anyone that was found observing Torah was immediately put to death. The so, uh, Antiochus gave these orders to his soldiers. And the Torah was forbidden. So the people were in living in um, oppression and abomination. He came down to Mohedim. This is what happened. When he came to Mohedim, what they'll do, they'll find an influential leader over the people. And then they'll try to bribe them because the idea was this. If the leaders will take part in the celebration, then the people will follow. So when they came to Mohedim, um, the, the uh, um, Matitiya, an aged man, he was brought forth. When he came forth, um, the king's soldier offered him up to half of the kingdom if he will sacrifice and eat swine's flesh. In this, at this time, um, Matitiya, being an elderly wise man of Torah, he gave them a lecture on Hebrew history and why they will never do such an unavailable thing. Now, while he was yet speaking, the book of Maccabee said, um, one of the <laughs> Israelites who, who um, sell, sold out, we call him sold out, he sold out to the pagans, and he went up to offer sacrifice to the idols. When Matatiya saw this, he got very enraged and angry, and he pulled the sword from one of the guards, and he slew the, 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 the soldier, the commanding officer. He slew the pagan priest, and with a sword in his hand, he showed these words, Who is for Israel? Follow me. Um, his sons and a small amount of people um, made way out into the Judean um, um, desert. Um, so when this news reached Antiochus, obviously he became enraged, and he sent an army after them. Um, we'll continue this in part two.